What's up, nerds? We are making 2022 our bitch as we enter the second month. In case you were wondering, yes, we're still here to give you the top 10 games from each month that you should probably look out for. Be sure to let us know if we missed any. Developed by Felistella with some key personnel from the Summon Knight series, Maglum Lord is an action RPG reminiscent of the original Swordcraft Story series. You play as an infamous demon lord who lost their powers and is now forced to bond with someone to revive their legacy of ruthless power. As your powers are connected to swords, you can imbue weapons with your essence, creating various options including a popsicle sword. You then give them to a partner and control them in battle as you explore multiple dungeons. By combining sword crafting, 2D action RPG combat, and dating sim, it promises an interesting adventure we're eager to experience in February. A roguelike martial arts action game where the main character learns tough fighting lessons from experience. This is definitely up there as a unique spin on the roguelike formula, one which features an entertaining combat system. Part of PS5's console exclusive indie lineup, this is one game that could potentially be an early sleeper hit of 2022. We had a chance to play an early build of the title, and so be sure to check out our hands-on preview. After several open beta tests and with much of the massive roster already previewed, King of Fighters 15 is ready to launch as the premier fighting game of 2022. In 2021, we had Guilty Gear Strive, and this year, the King of Fighters will continue its legacy, but with better graphics of course. Hard to say what the fighting game landscape will look like in the coming years, but for now, the massive roster and excellent netcode of KOF 15 will keep you satisfied until the next challenger comes along. The original Dynasty Warriors 9 tried to do way, way too much. It at least deserves an A for effort, even though it ended up becoming far too ambitious for its own good. With most mainline Dynasty Warrior games receiving an Empire's treatment, it was only a matter of time before the controversial ninth installment went through a revision of its own. But in this case, Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires might end up feeling like a completely different game. Sure, it has plenty of crazy ideas and more characters than you can handle but it may end up being far more polished and focused than its predecessor. So we've seen a few must-have PS5 titles like Deathloop and a brand new Ratchet & Clank, but Horizon Forbidden West was the one we were all waiting for. The highly anticipated sequel to one of the most popular PS4 games sees the return of protagonist Aloy as she leads a band of companions on a quest to the arcane frontier known as the Forbidden West to find the source of a mysterious plague. Players can expect a larger game world which even features underwater exploration along with revamped combat and exploration. Monarch is definitely one of those games that Jacob loves to rave about. Taking place in the Shin Mikado Academy, your peaceful academic life is suddenly threatened by a dangerous mist. In order to save your friends, you enter the other world. It definitely sounds like Shin Megami Tensei and maybe bits of Caligula effect. Jeez, I don't know, it sounds like a JRPG deja vu. No doubt the single most anticipated game of 2022 and the next big Souls-like. Fans are lucky to have this one right out the gate to kickstart 2022 with a potential game of the year. After months of hype and coverage, it seems like a sure thing that Elden Ring will in fact be one of those games people will constantly rave about. With George R.R. R. Martin in the writing credits, players can expect the darkest fantasy twist on the Souls-like formula yet. And hey, what do you know? He actually finished this story before Winds of Winter. Adelir Sophie 2, the alchemist of the mysterious dream, continues the adventure of Sophie and Plakta, who have experienced a slew of adventures. After leaving Sophie's hometown of Kirchen Bell, the two stumble across a tree that Plakta has seen in her dreams. Upon inspection, they are pulled into a vortex and Sophie wakes up in a world called Erde Widej and hears someone calling for Plakta. However, it's not her friend Plakta, but a young alchemist with the same name. I'm sure you can see where this is going. An open world zombie action game was already cool enough, but Dying Light 2 is trying to be the biggest game ever. So big that it will take around an estimated 500 hours to fully complete. If you have a bucket list, you can either add 100% completion of Dying Light 2 as a goal, or you can walk between Warsaw and Madrid on foot. Either goal would make your life meaningful. What better way to start off 2022 than with a localization of an Atome visual novel for Nintendo Switch? Here, players take the role of Hibari, who has to deal with a grandpa hellbent on seeing her married. 
this crazy but rich old man arranges to house Hibari in a luxurious villa along with four handsome hand-picked bachelors. As intrusive as that sounds, at least she gets a private butler out of it. It's like a season of The Bachelorette adapted into a visual novel. Thanks for watching. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.